I'm Johnny and I'm one of the iForge reps. Today we'll be looking at the scroll saw. The scroll saw is a really easy to use piece of equipment. It's consisted of a rapidly reciprocating thin blade and that makes it fantastic for cutting thin wood or plastic. Because it's got such a thin blade, it means you can cut corners tightly and accurately. So I'll give you an overview of the parts of the machine. The most important part is right here, and that's the blade. The blade's going to be moving up and down very quickly uh, to cut your work. So because of that, we need a safety piece, and that's right here. This is the guard. What the guard does is it comes between you and the blade, so it keeps you safe. Also, it means if the blade snaps at any point, it's going to catch that blade. So it's really important to have that down. Uh, there's also going to be an extraction unit next, next to the uh, machine. Uh, you want to make sure that the extraction unit is turned on. That means that uh, any dust or fumes from when you're cutting, uh, that gets extracted and it's much safer. Uh, this part right here is known as the bed. Um, you will want to be uh, pressing your material right down onto the bed when you're cutting to make sure it's stable. A final note about cutting. Uh, when you're using a saw to cut something, you want to make sure there's a minimum of three teeth in contact with the material you're cutting. That means if you're cutting a thinner material, uh, you want a, a blade with teeth that are spaced closer together. Uh, so that you can make sure that that minimum of three teeth uh, is always in contact with your material when you're cutting. Next we're going to talk about your personal protective equipment, or your PPE. The first thing to make sure is that your sleeves are rolled up to make sure that they aren't going to catch on the blade or on the material. Of course, because you're cutting, you're going to be wanting to use some goggles, and of course you'll be wearing your lovely iForge apron. Uh, also if you're cutting a lot of material, you'll want to consider using a dust mask. Uh, that's if you're cutting a lot of material, just to make sure you aren't breathing in any uh, nasty fumes from what you're cutting. But once you've got all these sorted, then you should be good to go. So now I'll talk about how to actually use the machine. I'm going to be cutting on this 8mm plywood, so I've already selected the right saw to cut this thickness. The first thing you're going to want to do is make sure the guard is at the right height. So to do that, you put the material on the base and just unscrew and make sure it's just got a bit of clearance on your material. And then you're protected from the saw. Uh, you want to make sure the uh, extraction is on, as we mentioned, and then you're ready to go. So first of all, you uh, turn the saw on by pressing the green switch at the side. Now the saw is running. With both hands, you place the uh, piece of material on the bed and then slowly push it into the saw. And it cuts just like that. You want to make sure you're pressing the material down into the bed. If you're not pressing it down, it starts to chatter. And you don't want that. That makes a bad cut and it's not very safe. So just slowly push the material into the saw and it will cut just as easily. Now on the scroll saw, it's actually kind of hard to make a straight cut. If you want a straight cut, you'll want to use the band saw. But what scroll saws are really good for is cutting curves. So I'll show you how that works. You turn the machine on. And as before, you just push the material into the saw blade. The curve, you just push and turn the material. Like so, you get a lovely curve. Make sure you don't twist it too much and make sure the material is pushed down firmly onto the bed. And there we go. Thanks for watching this video about the scroll saw and I hope to see you soon in the iForge.